Hello everybody, it's Paul Mago here, and today we are taking a look at Train Crisis. That's right, the game that Train's Trouble is based on, and I guess this would be a Train's Trouble Origins, I guess. Uh, that's one way to look at it, but basically this is the app game that started it all. I, I tried to record this a few times. The first time I recorded it almost a year ago, everything went to the pooper because my recording system wasn't doing anything right. I tried to record it on the weekends, but I was kind of straining myself and I really shouldn't have done that. That's and the resolution wasn't right. So now things will be completely different and... Uh, I just know I'm completely jinxing it, but let's just cross our fingers. Cross our fingers that everything goes just fine. So, the long and the short of it, because I had played this over a year ago, I basically have familiarity with a lot of what is available here in this game. The levels will be very similar to what you found in Train's Trouble. Uh, the reason being because Train's Trouble is based on... Uh, that game, but anyway, let's get through the first 24 levels in the Industrial Revolution, and then we'll be able to go on to the next video. Obviously not within the same recording session, because that would be crazy for me to do. Gotta pace myself. Oh. During the Industrial Era, railway networks grew too fast. Transit in some networks was a complete mess. Someone needs to take control of the situation, and that, my friends, is where we come in. We've got a few tutorial levels in this, uh, in this game, unfortunately, so we'll just have to get through the formalities before we get into the action. Some persistent glitches that I should probably note that are probably based on the engine is that, for some reason, uh, when you click on this portion of the box, you can activate it, but if you click on the- hold on a sec. But if you click at the bottom, it might not activate whatever it is you're trying to click, depending on the circumstances. And we won't have to worry about getting enough stars, because I already have enough stars. So it's just a matter of deciding what we're going to uh, do as a strategy. Everything's just going to be fine and dandy. The fan is running, so I won't get heat stroke. The door is also open, so I won't get heat stroke. And yeah, I think this is going to be a good run. But maybe I'm just uh, completely jinxing it. The other reason I felt I had to record again was because the little recording reticule, this little rectangle, was in the previous footage, and I just felt like I didn't want to have that show up there. It's disgusting. And it's tacky. There we go, that should do it. I think the strategy for these levels are going to be a little bit more rudimentary than I first suspected. But I don't know, I just feel like I've been kind of, uh... I don't know. It's the middle of summer and I would think that I would be in a situation where I could feel comfortable, calm, relaxed, and all that jazz, but... A bunch of stupid stuff just keeps happening. That just gets in the way. And I just don't know how to explain it. But the long and the short of it, I've just been overthinking things too much. I've been panicking because, uh... Uh, the... The growth of the channel hasn't been what it was in the last two months. I think everything's going into a nosedive. Or at least that's what it feels like, but I really should have seen that coming. Not everything lasts forever.
But do you know what does last forever? The river texture in this game. It just clips off, even though it goes on uh, for the rest of eternity. I'm trying to think, is this the time that I should be flipping this switch? I'm trying to click this switch, but it's not working. Well, I guess we can try again. Right? Right? Oh! I didn't mean to- oh. Shoot. How do I flip this switch? It's not working! Why? This isn't gonna end well. Well, I think I've uh, found a glitch because I can't click on this in the 1920 by 1080 resolution. Oh, nope. There we go again. You know, we're just going to avoid that from repeating itself. Let's just not worry about it. It's it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just keep going. Now it's just going to be a matter of time as to whether or not I can actually get this thing to flip. And something tells me these tracks aren't going to flip like they're supposed to. But I think you get the general premise. I get the tr red train in here, I get the green train in here. If worse comes to worse, I might have to skip this level. I don't think I should have to worry about that, but that is a possibility because this track is not flipping. And as a result, I won't be able to play through this level as I would want to. But we're gonna give it one last shot. One last shot! And then we're going to uh, move to the next level if it doesn't work out. Next level! We just need to go to level 10, and we should be just fine. I feel like I really shouldn't be uh, worrying about things in the summer, like I was trying to say earlier. Because it's the summertime. It's supposed to be a fun time. And everything's supposed to be all hunky-dory because I'm not in school and stuff. But I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm getting too old. I worry about everything. Actually, no, I think it's congenital. But at least that previous recording session gave me some decent practice so I could actually talk coherently and not have everything crash. Let's see, we're gonna need this. Excuse me. There we go. Everything is working and functioning properly. All is as it should be. I gotta stop saying that. Oh, not this level. This one's a little wonky. So I'll just activate this, activate this, I think this is the arrangement that it's supposed to go in. Yeah, this sounds about right. We'll just have to wait for the green train to come in to the station. And right on cue, right on cue.
More loops. We're gonna need more loops of track. Instant replay! The switch isn't flipping. I think it's because of the resolution I'm playing at. Because this little interface thing is in the way. Well, this is going to seriously compromise my gameplay, isn't it? I could play this in full screen. But... I want to have a... Oh! It finally switched when I didn't want it to! Dang it. Well, at least I know it works. Sort of. But not really. Why won't you flip? Okay, that's better. Yes, I think that should do it. I'm gonna have to be more cautious next time. Yes, I'm definitely gonna have to be more cautious next time. Why well, you gotta be like this game? So our plan of attack is the same as it would be in Train's Trouble, because we've got the same configuration. There was a similar level in the uh, British campaign. Anyway, I guess I could give you some train updates, because I'm playing train game, and that's what I always do. Oh dear. That'll do. That should do it. Okay, now I can speak coherently. What I wanted to say was that... Uh, in my collecting of model trains, I've been focusing on HO scale because I needed to... My collection needed a facelift, basically. Because all the track that I had was ferromagnetic, so it completely rusted over. And even though I tried to clean it, it was still suboptimal. So, I had taken the liberty of getting some extra track from Kato. I got a full circuit, I think. A full loop of track. And I just got myself a second loop of track. Oh boy. Yep, I didn't think this through. But I got myself a second loop of track that goes inside of the other one. So now I can have two trains running at the same time. And it's my hope that at some point I'll be able to, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Stop, stop, stop! Is my p uh, hope in the future that... Uh, I'll be able to get a new train. Just a new locomotive and a string of whole new cars. Just because I feel like it, even though I don't have money to burn because I don't know why, I just feel like it. Now let's see if we can get this- oh, right, I forgot the switch needs to change. And now I realize that I won't be able to speak coherently and uh, do all the other things I want to at the same time. Oh boy. The cakewalk is officially over. Ah, shoot. 
Wait, I thought I switched that. What was I thinking? What on earth was I thinking? Oh, right, it's because they're in such close proximity. Stop, stop! Whew! Okay, that was a little too close. A little too close. For my butt. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is for <laughs> the updates. I did get uh, two other locomotives, but I didn't get any rail cars for them, so... Yeah, that's a thing. I tried to explain it in the previous video, but it obviously didn't go so well. Why did I think it was facing the other way? Oh, right, because there's another one that was in the wrong direction. So we'll go and flip this. Stop this one right in its tracks. No, stop, stop, I st You know what, it didn't matter. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Ah, here comes the rage. Oh right, this is the better way of doing it. There we go. Maybe I can give you updates on what I want to do while the trains are making it to the station. Or the stations. But not while I'm actually uh, fixing all the uh, points and pushing all the buttons and turning on all the lights and stuff. I guess that's one strategy to go about it. But, no. Oops. This is what I get for having switches so close to each other. Another example that I really shouldn't be trusted with heavy machinery. Just another, another example that I shouldn't be trusted with heavy machinery. Clip. Flip. Flip. There we go. Again, and again. There we go. So let's see, what else are we up to? This is one of those levels that looks scary and complicated on the surface, but it actually isn't. And you just need to be careful. See if I can actually get this right. Always something I overlook. No, why did I flip it back? I had already prepared for it. I'll never be able to shake this off. But here's hoping everything works out in the end. It 
should come out from... Oh. Should, yes, they will come out of that tunnel and then it'll make its way here. That's better. That is... Train Traffic 101, don't crash! Flip some extra switches. And then we will wrap up this level like a boss. But not just any boss, we will wrap up this level like a yard boss. However, I'm not sure about this one, because this one's a stupid level. Round and round the trains will go, where they'll come out, nobody knows. And I just played this on Sunday, so I would think I would expect better from myself. But if my memory's correct... This is the configuration that all the uh, locomotives are supposed to be in. Because... Shoot. Let's see if I got the green one right. Yep, I got the green one right, and I got the red one right. So we just have to... Uh, get the yellow train to its destination. correctly this time, thank you. And that should be as many moves as we will ever possibly need to do. Please. Please. Crossing my- Wait. I just put it into the same place as I did last time, why did I do that? Maybe it was supposed to go in here. That's right, okay. Everything is going to be fine and dandy. Everything's just gonna work out in the end. But this is a really cheap level, because it's really a matter of trial and error as to whether or not you're gonna get the train into the right station. And I think it's a little ridiculous, but it definitely does pad up the game's time. I think I just did something wrong. Yep! Well, that wasn't what I was thinking about, but that is one way to screw things up. What we need is to flip this switch so the train goes over here. For some reason, these locomotives remind me of one of the LEGO trains that uh, came out back in the early 2000s. I don't know why, they just do. I think it has something to do with the shape. That and they're kind of blocky because of the graphics. I don't think I've actually done anything with my LEGO trains in a while. I have practically a whole wall of them. I'm a terrible person. This one's going to be tricky, the reason for which is going to be uh, clear very, very soon. Ah! Dead cat reflexes. Like I said before, I'll say it again, there's always one switch that doesn't uh, cooperate and I can't reach in time. I really need to prioritize which ones get flipped. Just 
had to be a sticky switch on me. Nope. Dang it. We will get this eventually. Just need to keep my eyes on this switch. There we go. Unfortunately, we will have to wait until the green locomotive makes it to its station before we actually get the yellow train to its station because of the timing in which they might be in certain- I mean, because the timing and the placement is essential. That's what I meant to say. Let's- let's speak coherently. Let's try to speak coherently here. Or as, uh... Or as one person on the internet calls it, How To Spoken 2016. We'll add a little bit more irony in there at some point in the future. Other than the irony in the statements in itself. Yay! Well, that was actually a lot faster than I expected. You saved the industrial era! And now railways can continue growing. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Something tells me I'm going to be greedy and try to deal with this level. Uh, fairly soon. Like, five seconds from now. Because sure, why not? Uh, anyway, I will see you all in the next episode. Take care, stay awesome, stay true to yourself, and remember to never give up. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.